tech has always been a double-edged sword and GPT would be no different. The GPT story is getting thicker. Indeed, as technology advances and new challenges emerge, the story surrounding the scourge of fake international calls continues to evolve. Hello and welcome to Var India News Hour. What it would turn out for the bad actors depends on their ingenuity, creativity and never say die approach to achieve their goals. There are positive changes happening in the chat GPT use cases, front pertaining to cyber security and that too in the real battlefield of it all, the dark way. Dark Bart is a language model that has been trained on the fringes of the dark way. We are learning more and more about the capabilities of this new language model and it is becoming clear that it has the potential to revolutionize the way we interact with computers. This means that we can now use GPT to create realistic and engaging stories, articles and even code. Another exciting development is the ability of GPT to learn and adapt. As it is exposed to more data, it becomes better at understanding and generating text. That means that GPT has the potential to become a powerful tool for language learning and translation. It's barely been six months since the release of ChatGPT. We are still early in the snowball effect unleashed by it. What the final impact of large multimodal language model released in the wild would be as unknown. What can be predicted with security is that it would lead to an exponential change in the way world lives. When paired with other open sourced GPT models, the number of applications employing AI is exploding. It is known by now that chat GPT can itself be used to create highly advanced malware. Applied LLMS would become the order of the day, each specializing in their own area. It has to be trained on carefully curated data for a specific purpose. One such application is making waves and this one has been trained on the data from the dark web itself. Created by South Koreans, Dark Bird has just arrived. Its release paper gives an overall introduction to the dark web itself. Dark Bird was developed back in 2019 and is based on robot architecture. Its renaissance, so to say, it has more performance to give that it could be extracted. Back then, it was severely undertrained before it was released. Expectedly, the results were not promising. Researchers crawled the dark web through the anonymizing firewall of the Tor network. Data needed to be filtered, which was done applying techniques such as data application, category balancing, and data pre-processing. That part is the outcome of that database used to feed it. That's how the large language models get trained. The dark part is not different. It has the capability to analyze a new piece of dark web content. This is just the beginning. It has to evolve into an effective tool, adding depth and expertise to our anti-dark wave operations. Let's look into today's headlines. PhonePay raises $100 million from General Atlantic at valuation of $12 billion. Walmart-owned PhonePay has secured an additional $100 million investment from General Atlantic at a pre-money valuation of $12 billion. This new funding is part of PhonePay's ongoing fundraise of up to $1 billion in capital following its domicile shift to India last year. With this funding, the company has raised a total of $850 million from several global investors. After India, Google expanding flood forecasting capabilities to 80 countries. Google has launched its AI-powered flood forecasting services to more 60 countries. The service was first launched in India in 2018. This expansion means that the feature called Flood Hub will be available in a total of 80 countries and is part of its work to use AI to address the climate crisis. NVIDIA develops a new supercomputer powered by a revolutionary chip. 
Nvidia has announced its collaboration with the University of Bristol in the UK to develop a new supercomputer powered by a revolutionary chip that can rival Intel and AMD. Nvidia is known for its GPUs which are highly sought after for their ability to accelerate artificial intelligence processes. OpenAI's ChatGPT was developed using thousands of Nvidia GPUs. Suzuki Motorcycle India halts production after hit by cyber attack. Suzuki Motorcycle India has been forced to halt production as its factories after being hit by an alleged cyber attack on its operation. As per reports, the production has been stalled since they may and may have estimated to have incurred a production of loss of over 20,000 vehicles during this time. Suzuki Motorcycle has been postponed its annual supply conference. Delhi High Court summons BBC for showing PM Modi in bad light in its documentary. The Delhi High Court has issued summons to the BBC on a defamation case filed by a Gujarat-based NGO named Justice on Trial. According to its claims, its controversial documentary on the 22 Gujarat riots is against PM Narendra Modi and cast a slur on the reputation of India and that of the judiciary. The two-part documentary has defamed the country, including its judiciary. That's all for now. Please like, share, comment and subscribe to War India News Magazine. You can download the War India app from Google Play Store and Apple App Store for more news and updates. Stay tuned. Thank you.